Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here or just stumbling upon this video, please make sure you are subscribed and turn on your little post notifications. Most of you guys do have your notifications on, which makes me so happy. Um, also follow me on Instagram because I don't have a good reason. Okay, so anyway, this video I have been debating to make back and forth and back and forth after like I found out the news and I didn't know if I wanted to do it or not. Um, if you guys think that this is going to be like a bashing, like hateful video, um, you've come to the wrong place because I have been a fan of KK and Baby J for the longest time. I love their content. Um, I wish they vlogged more, honestly, because I loved it when they daily vlogged. Judge me. I'm putting it out there that like, I enjoy their content. I followed them for a long time and this is not a hate video towards them. So if you think that, then just click off the video, rip my watch time, but it's fine. It's fine. Just like leave because I just want to put that in the beginning of the video. So, um, but I did want to make a video about it because it's so interesting and I'm not going to like touch on like the allegations, but I just kind of want to like make this video number one. So I want to hear your guys' thoughts on the matter. I know that these videos, when I talk about certain things on my YouTube channel, like they get a little bit more traction. So I want to like know your opinions, um, especially because this is a, a situation that I'm like more interested in because I actually know well, actually, yeah, I have met them like multiple times. So like I know them, but like I've watched their channel. So it's not like an okay baby situation where like I don't really know. Um, so I can't really like, I mean, I'm not that interested or invested, but like I still met them a little bit. According to this article and public records, like, I mean, I saw the records because it's like public. So it's not like anything super secretive. Um, a business partner allegedly um, is suing KK and Baby J. I don't know the whole story. Um, I know that there's one side, another side, and then like the truth. And I'm just gonna put out there like no one is perfect. And I'm not defending Karen Qual. Like I'm just saying everyone probably had wrongdoing in whatever situation happened. So they're adults. The business partner is an adult like i'm sure they can handle it but i will say that it was it was like quite shocking to find out about this situation because it was just like wait what so then like you know i look at the documents i don't even know really what it's called i think it's called like an affidavit i don't really know um it was interesting too because like i work at a news station so i get all these documents all the time because the reporters are all like, okay, pull out line nine on page six. So like, I have been familiar with like documents like that. So like reading through all of um, what the business partner was claiming was like really interesting. And it's almost like, I hope, or I'm sure that Karen and Quav like prepared something to like refute that. I don't know, man. I just, well, I know this isn't like criminal, Kate. Well, maybe it is criminal. I don't know. Cause like, I don't know law or anything like that. My mom's a lawyer though. So, but she can only like practice in Ohio, but I think this is like considered civil, but anyway, whatever it is, it's just really interesting. And like, I guess I, I can't believe that other people that like follow, I don't know, sun kiss mama, like when all the drama happens, I can't believe any of their like longtime supporters never make a video about the situations. I'm sure that they have YouTube channels, but I know that both parties probably can't talk about anything at this moment because this is like all still so fresh. Okay, sorry on my phone right now, but I just also wanted to add in the documents that like I read, I am surprised that like they didn't like Karen and Claude didn't talk about their business a lot. Like I know they mentioned him, but like they didn't really mention him. All the people that are like interested, like had to go like searching for like the name, which I, I mean, because I watched some of the videos, like I knew the guy's name, but like, it was interesting that they didn't talk about him a lot. Maybe that, I thought it was because of like an NDA or like some sort of like, requirement or not requirement what's the word 
um, some sort of like agreement that they wouldn't mention him, but like it wasn't. So I just wanted to add that because I found that to be extremely interesting to like read about um, if that is true. But this is just coming from like uh, someone who just watched them. So anyway, on with the video. I will say that it was really interesting like reading what someone like really in their life had to say about like working with them from his point of view. Again, it's hard to like judge just based off of one side. So like there could have been things like from their point of view and I'm not like sticking up for them. I'm just saying that like, you know, no one is guilty without proven, like without proof and stuff. And like, since obviously they're just like accusations, like, I don't have any document of proof of anything really. So like, I don't know, but it's just like wild, man. Like, what do you guys think? Again, this isn't me like standing up for them. Well, maybe it is, but like when you get into business and stuff, like, and if you ha don't have like a really big business knowledge, like things can happen like this. And I definitely, if I was in this situation, like I think it'd be like a little iffy because you can get into trouble like this. I don't know if I'm making any sense, but even though I have followed Karen and Qual for like a long, long time and I enjoy their content and I watch your videos and like follow them, it doesn't mean like I think they're like God or like, I don't know, I don't worship them. I'm just a fan, you know what I mean? Like a fan, that sounds so weird. And I guess I do have that parasocial relationship built with them. So obviously I feel some sort of like emotion towards the situation more so than anything I've ever talked about because like I do care about them and some of you guys like might think that's creepy and weird which it is like I'm not denying that but I don't know it's just a good example of like wow like when something like this comes out it's just like whoa but I understand that things happen like this you know I'm not surprised that some of the allegations were made by someone about them like this because it's business and again things happen but like just someone that you've followed and stuff is so crazy and I don't know I'm like interested in how it plays out. I do care about them to a certain level. I mean I'm not like you know I'm a fan of them but also I'm like realistic enough to know like this shit sort of happens like in any family vlogging youtuber space that like things like this happen and um everyone in the situation probably didn't make the best decisions if it's true i just wanted to like make a video on it mainly for like the comment section and to like gauge your opinion i know that they have like one they have like a few like really really like intense haters which in a way is interesting in a way because like to hate on someone and like spend so much time like devoting yourself to that is weird in my opinion but like i do touch on this in my vlog that's coming out on tuesday i like do my makeup and stuff and like share that i'm like so shocked because like the newest is still so fresh so if you want to pop over there like i think i talk a little bit more about it but i wanted to like make a centralized like video um about the situation because i just like wanted a centralized place for like comments and like everything like that if that makes sense i know not everyone like watches my vlogs so that's why i just wanted to make a like whole dedicated video to it and i'm sad though that like this sort of content is what brings viewers to my channel like i don't know I think that's kind of weird, but it's okay. It's what works. And I do love hearing your opinions and reading the comments. And this will be like definitely interesting because I do still like, I do feel for them in a little bit of a weird way. And you can judge me for that. You can say that I'm like some weird creeper and that like, I support family vlogging and like people like take everything out of context. I mean, you can say that it's fine. Like, but because I followed them for quite a while, like obviously I'm not going to just be like, oh, I hate them now. Like, I don't know. 
I would love to like see the proof and like the evidence. Um, I'm sure that both sides of the arguments, the situation have proof of what they're both arguing about. I'm sure they both have proof and I would like love to see that proof just because like I do have the side of me that's very like private investigator. <laughs> Which again, sounds so creepy, but like, I don't know. I do it like as a hobby, which maybe I shouldn't be like putting that on the internet. But if I'm like interested, then like I will deep dive, you know? So like, it'd be cool to see like the evidence on like both presenting sides, <laughs> but I'll probably never see that. I'll probably just end up following the videos that cover it more and like be like, oh, interesting. But that doesn't, that doesn't like change the way like I see them. I mean, well, I guess it kind of does, but like, because they're a public figure, they are, you know, a little bit higher profile than just like average Sally Sue that lives down the street from me. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I mean, I still watch them, support them in, I guess my social media currency, as some people say, but that's just because I followed them for a long time and they don't live that far away from me. Again, that sounds creepy and weird, but like I'm not one of the people that like stalk them, okay? Like don't be thinking that. Um, but I did go to their meetups and stuff and like I did talk to them and I think that humanized them more to me. So like I see them more as just like humans rather than someone I'm just gonna throw like Jess fam or Aaron Williams like I just see them as like people on the internet which I know that they're real life people but I don't like follow them I've never met them in person so it doesn't like give that connection I guess so this is just a really hard topic and like a lot to take in but I still again don't hate anyone this isn't a bashing it's just more like a whoa wow <laughs> sort of situation and I'll be interested in stuff about it. Um, if Karen and Carl are watching this, hey, like I still, I mean, I know it's like kind of tough right now probably and everything like that, but you know, everyone makes decisions, good, bad, indifferent, and like there's always like an outcome, I guess. So anyway, I think I'm gonna wrap up this video. I know it wasn't very like juicy for some of you guys and some of you guys are probably like, she's like a weird fan, like standing up for them. I'm ready for the comments, but I just wanna hear your thoughts, opinions. Did you read the document? I don't really know what it's called really. Did you read it? What did you think? And yeah, like I hope that Karen and Qual like make their statements. I'm, again, this isn't me like standing up for them, okay? But I'm just saying like, I would like to see the other side and like maybe they'll make a podcast or something. I don't know. But anyway, I've rambled long enough on this situation. You guys probably like already hate me now. So anyway, give this video a thumbs up if you want to. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.